left. <laughs> Over the where the other fancy pantsers are. Fancy pants parade will be connected. No, John, other one of those, yes. That is correct. Yep, we're watching it, Angela. Are our Queen and King present? Her Royal Highness, the Queen. Pantsers brave and ready. Yeah. How's everybody doing tonight? Are we having a good cruise so far? John Hodgman, are you having a good cruise so far? as I expected. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Colton. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, John Hodgman. <laughs> Changing of the job. <laughs> as you know, each year we gather to enact in the real world, in the real world, a ridiculous thing that I made up once and I didn't have any good ideas. Um, the king and queen over here in the, in the darkness, which is where the place of honor, obviously. Uh, they, have a, they have a very good view of the parade of fancy pants that we're about to see, which is good because it is they who are responsible for choosing the victor this evening. Uh, the best in terms of pants. It's a hard job. I'm glad that it's not one that I have to do. Um, please, everybody, pay attention because there is a wet floor here. That young man almost fell down. The, those of you who are going to be marching or skipping or how, however you're going to convey yourself with your ridiculous pants, please be careful of the slippery floor. Um, and now, it is time 
I think. It's, I have uh, I have just made a discovery, a technical discovery, a technical discovery, ladies and gentlemen. The, the, uh, the, we were planning on having John sing, sing this to a backing track. I have realized that we cannot hear the backing track and have a microphone on at the same time. So you have two choices. Wonderful. Three choices. This is great. Either you can hear the original track with vocals. We can play the track he was going to sing to while he lip syncs it. <laughs> With, and you won't actually hear his vocals, you'll just see his lips move here. Or, Jonathan, you can sing it a cappella with no backing whatsoever. Or perhaps me making some noises. I think, uh, I think it's obvious what the crowd wants. Luckily, I come from an a cappella background. I was in the Whiff and Poops when I was at, uh, at Yale, of course, so this is very easy for me to do. It's no big deal. Uh, I don't have perfect pitch. Does anybody have an E? An E? I would like an E. <laughs> Thanks a lot, jerks. <laughs> uh, okay, wow, this is, this is going to be... Uh, we're about we're about to make history, ladies and gentlemen. You ready? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chances are your pants are not as fancy as the pair. A very fancy pants and Mr. Fancy pants will wear. Everybody's marching in the fancy pants parade. It's gonna pass the test. It's gonna be the best. The best in terms of pants. <laughs> no, that's not you doing that. Is my head, it's terrible. It's, oh, forgot. What's the second verse? Nobody knows. Thank you. You look in every catalog, you shop in every store Cause even though you have a hundred pants, you want some more When suddenly you see the greatest pants you've ever seen Even though you know it's gonna cost a lot of dough You have to have the world's best pants Say a little prayer for fancy pants The whole world knows it's only clothes and teeth Inside, he said. This is so compelling. This is my favorite version of this song. <laughs> now it's time for the uh, the remake. Pants, pants. Chances are your chances are your pants, pants. Everybody's pants, everybody's pants. Everybody's marching in the fancy pants of pants. Everybody's pants, everybody's best in best in best in best in terms of chances are your pants and chances pants and pants and chances pants. Everybody's pants, everybody's pants. Everybody's The make the big announcement and the trophy goes to you. You thought you had some fancy pants and now you know it's true. You look at Mr. Fancy Pants and hold the trophy high. Everybody cheers while he's blinking back the tears. He doesn't even have the best pants. Say a little prayer for Mr. Fancy Pants. It's all he had, but don't feel bad. He'd do.
ladies and gentlemen. One man band, Jonathan Colton. Mr. Paul Saboran on the everything else. All right, if we could have all of our fancy pantsers arrayed here on the pool area. I yeah. think we can all agree we have an amazing array of fancy pants this year. Woo! How about a hand for all of our fancy pants paraders? <laughs> At this time, I would now like to escort our monarch of the seas out to the center ring. And she will make her judgment and then render it. These are giving me a seizure. <laughs> Are you one? Are you two? Are you three? No, nobody does it. Okay, it's a, it's a tense, tense moment for all competitors. They put a lot into these. No, go ahead, you. I meant everybody else, Josh. <laughs> I was just vamping because it seemed like there was dead air. Yeah, there was dead air. Her Majesty says there was dead air, so I'm going to continue to vamp. You know, when you get competitors like these... Uh, she is now prepared oh, to great. render her judgment. Jonathan, oh, if you would hold the microphone, I shall go and get the trophy. Wonderful. Is there anything you want to say about the competitors or uh, the difficult decision you're about to make? This was a very difficult decision, but due to the special show I got from one of the competitors, I have made my decision. Special show. Uh, get your heads out of the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> Although it was sort of like that. <laughs> Are you ready? The Fancy Pants Trophy uh, broke in transit. <laughs> But with a little bit of gaff tape, you cannot tell the difference. <laughs> Your Highness, please let us know who is the best in terms of pants for Joko Cruz Crazy 4. The best in terms of pants is... Drum roll, please. Milk it, your highness, milk it. I have the power, remember. <laughs> Balloon pants! Balloon pants! Balloon pants! Congratulations to our big winner. Thank you, Your Royal Highness. And to all of our fancy pantsers, one more round of applause. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, contestants. Thank you, Your Highness. All right, get off the stage now. It was. Thank you, John Hodgman. Thank you, John Hodgman, for keeping it real. Oh, that was, that was, that was weird. <laughs> uh, before, <laughs> that, yeah, about as weird as Lego me. About as weird. Uh, uh, before we uh, start the movie this evening, uh, we have a very special treat for you. Um, my friend and yours, David Reese, uh, is making a television show. This is not a joke. Uh, it is an actual television show that will be aired on television uh, this 
summer, I think. Uh, uh, it's produced by uh, my wife, Christine Connor. Who's over there. Uh, and we're going to show we're going to show a little bit of it uh, right now. Will you please uh, welcome David yeah, Reese and Christine Connor? Um, Uh, okay, hi everybody. Uh, and actually, there's a board file. Uh, so, Christine. I'm having a micro fancy pants for you right now. It's called Side Pants for me. Uh, Christine and I made a TV show together. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We did a lot of hard work. Uh, and we're a really great team. We only argued a couple times. Now and then. Every so often. Anyway, uh, I'll be brief. Um, so it's on this channel called National Geographic. It starts in July. It's a cartoon show. It's called Only D with David Reese. Uh, and it's basically it's a how-to show that teaches you how to do the things you think you already know how to do. It's the spirit of my book, How to Show <laughs> So we asked National Geographic. Can you shut it off? Uh, anyway, turn it off. Just keep filming and pointing and pointing at them. I just said it would be great if you could show a video of this TV show on the boat. And National Geographic was very kind, and after a lot of back and forth, they agreed that we could have like a little world premiere moment here on the high seas. Because we're in international waters, and so TV rules don't apply. Um, but here's the thing. They said, please don't. Uh, it's show's going to come out in July, uh, which is a summer month. Uh, so we really, really hope... What we're going to show you is actually the first ten minutes of the first episode. It's not quite done, so you're going to see little moments of awkwardness, which includes every moment that I'm on screen. <laughs> So we hope you forgive that. It's called a rough cut. I know so much TV industry now from Christine making this show. Did you know that extension cords are called stingers? Oh, yeah. I know. I know all so many things. Okay, anyway, the point is, they said, please don't, like, live tweet this thing or anything like that, you, you know, or Facebook or anything. But if you like it, when it comes out in July, just please remember... Uh, just remember this amazing moment, and then please promote it on social media. I feel like such a whore, right? <laughs> this, this goes against my every core value. But honestly, um, I think that's it. We really hope that you'll uh, oh, this. enjoy okay. the sample of the TV show that we made. And um, also, uh, Jonathan Colton wrote the theme song. So I just want to thank Jonathan very much. Uh, for writing the theme song. I'm very excited about it. And now, turn off the microphone, count to five, and the show starts. <laughs> uh, Katie, uh, now is the time to count to five, and then start the TV program. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Thank you.